हेलो गाइज दिस इज सूरज फ्रॉम वेजलैंड वेलकम टू वेजलैंड ऑनलाइन वर्कशॉप आई एम वर्क एज अ साइबर सिक्योरिटी एट वेजलैंड टूडेज टॉपिक वुड बी सॉफ्टवेयर रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू क्रैक एनी सॉफ्टवेयर और हाउ टू पैच एनी सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज सम काइंड ऑफ डिबर्गर्स एंड डिस असेंबलर्स द वेरी फेमस डिबर्गर इज ऑली डिबर्ग वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दैट डिबर्गर विच इज वेरी फेमस एंड विच इज वेरी बेसिक लिटल so we are going to use that tool first we'll open this oli debugger over here so this is our tool first let me tell you the concept behind crack and patch the crack is nothing but ga gathering some sensitive information from that software For example, if you are entering your registration name and registration key in that software, it means in that software itself that key must be present over there. Some years ago, this kind of fundamental over there in softwares, they are having their keys in the software itself. So people used to crack that software, used to grab that registration key, and sim simply input that key into registration key box. So later on. the software has developed a new logic behind it the logic was like on the basis of registration name they used to develop used to put their own logic and used to develop a new 16 letter registration key so it depends on the particular registration name if we are putting name vigilant on the basis of this string vigilant they used to generate some 16 digit registration key and they try to match that key with the inputted input of from the user so by gathering this kind of information breaking that logic or gathering the exact key by depend on that logic is means crack similarly the patch means if that software is trying to gather some information from that server some softwares are there who gather some information about registration key from their server to check whether they are whether they are matching or not and on the basis of the result they tell us that whether the registration is successful or not so the thing is in that software they must have code somewhere that they are over here they are trying to send that information to their server and what if we disable that code that whole code which are which is responsible to send that information to server then that software won't be able to send the registration information to their server it will accept any key and it will extend its trial pack so similarly we are going to crack the software i'll show you one demo this is our debugger you can use disassembler too the difference in debugger and disassembler so first we'll use the debugger and i'll use one software to crack that is perfect key logger that's the key logger i have a trial peer period application of that perfect key logger i'll install this software it is installing in this directory c program files and the name is dpk finish oh here now we'll open that file that executable file from this debugger we'll go to computer c drive program files and bpk that's a perfect key logger application i'll open this file it will show me all the assembly language code in oh yeah <coughs> debugger means it simply gives us a assembly language code in this panel so over here the thing is whenever i open this software this perfect key logger see it is telling me that you have to register yourself or otherwise by by now or continue evaluation the days for evaluation is 5 days after 5 days it will expire so what i'll do i'll try to enter 
registration code over here enter your name let's say vegilin and I'll enter registration registration code randomly 1111 4 times 2 4 times 3 and 4 times 4 let's say okay now it is telling me that registration code or username is invalid it means they are using one kind of logic on the basis of that registration name that is vigilant they are trying to generate some 16 digit key over here and right now we are putting a random key over there so they are not able to compare they are not able to receive a perfect match over there so it is telling me that registration error is there so I'll, what I'll do I'll copy this whole message somewhere in notepad registration code or username is invalid then okay I'll exit this software and I'll try to build a same over here by using code so what I'll do I'll search for the reference text string that is that message which we have earlier seen over there over here this is a main code over here I'll try to search for the case which we have received over here I'll copy this message and I'll paste it in a search box say ok over here you can see this is the message it means it is having some line of code behind it which is responsible to throw this error I'll open that code by double click on that over here you can see this black line is nothing but the scope of that code I'll go to the start of this code to check whether this application is running properly or not through code over here what I'll do I'll set one breakpoint over here breakpoint is nothing but it will execute that software till that breakpoint and from then will execute it manually by pressing F2 I'll put a breakpoint over here and I'll run this software from code over here you can see this has been stopped over here enter a registration code from now I'll enter this registration code same vegilin and random key 1111 4 times 3 and 4 times 4 I'll press ok see paused it means this software has been paused over here because they have reached till breakpoint now the thing is what I'll do to see that logic or to see that automatic generated 16 digit key will make it execute line by line by pressing F2 I'll make this ex to execute line by line so that we'll able will be able to see the results over <coughs> here in this panel. I'm pressing F8 to execute it line by line. We'll check what is the exact logic behind the code. At some instant, they'll tell us that they have accepted a user inputted key that is 1111. It is generating it is accepting that key and it is trying to convert it into ASCII value now we'll execute we'll keep on execute this till they accept whole key right now they have accepted 4 times 2 now they will merge this concatenate that string with 4 times 1 and 4 times 2 now they are accepting 4 times 3 similarly they have accepted 4 times 4 and they have merged this the whole key over here right now they have our registration key but they don't have their my users your registration name so I'll make it basic make it execute now you can see over here vigilant is the key which I have entered as a registration name now they based based on this name they will generate one query and this is the logic behind generating 16 digit key over there see here we have reached 
they are comparing this 4 times 1, 4 times 2, 4 times 3, 4 times 4 with this string. What I'll do, I'll select this, I'll copy this and paste to notepad. Now, I'll close all this. I'll again try to open the same software. Now, enter a registration code. I'll enter this registration code with the same name, Vagilent, because that key which we have received over there, it is generated on this particular name. If I put W in a lower case, then it won't work. Now we have to put this key over here. We'll try to put this key over here and we'll see whether it is working or not. We have to divide this into four set of key. Okay. See, registration succeed succeeded. Thank you for choosing per perfect key logger. It means this is a registration key. That's all about software cracking. You can do same with other softwares also, which are small in their size.